I'm tired of hearing these motherfuckers complain about the economy. Stop complaining about the economy and break off some fucking jobs. Stop fucking buying shit over J U.S. patent pending. At least this hat was made in America. Probably put together in Mexico or some shit like that. Let's see. Let's see where this Obama hat being sold down in the black neighborhoods by Arabs in Arab stores. Made in China. 100% polyester. How come this Barack Obama hat was not made in America by Americans so Americans can benefit from this shit? But instead, as you see in that video I did, um, Give Him Obama, I'm so mad because the original name for that video, the video, the, the original name for that video was Slave Until Now. That's the original name. The original background music had Aretha Franklin singing in it. Actually, no. The original music was on a different version of that same video that I I got rid of. Because I said to myself after I watched the video, I changed the ending because the ending sucked on the one that says slave, take one. That was a test to see, you know, how it would look. And then after the motherfuckers pulled the one with Amazing Grace in it, I put that on there. And that was not the one I wanted to put up. So then I end up redoing it with Give Him a Face as the background soundtrack. A couple uh, editing twerks where you could see the the shadow of me with the thing going on and doing a little dance and shit. Um, that's it. I'm disappointed in a whole bunch of stuff this week. I gotta go find some work. I can't find a fucking job nowhere. You know, see, a lot of people get shit wrong. And I'm gonna explain something right now. It's like, I'm 40 years old. I'm not gonna try to put on a suit and go work in an office. Don't wanna do that. Um, I like manual labor. I like to fucking, I like janitorial. I like fucking uh, building shit. I like janitorial. I like assembly. Shit. The only job that I would do, I would put on office to do, is if I was working at a marketing firm. That's it. I mean, you know, to sell gift cards. To sell something. Um, cereal. Say you have a a cereal that you want to sell or something, you know, uh, you know, product shit like that, product placement in movies, product placement in video games. I like to sell advertisement in video games because that's I think that's the new place to go, the new reality. The new reality is a virtual reality that you send yourself into. Um, Video games have stopped a lot of people from progressing in life. And I'm going to explain that. Because if you can sit at home and play fucking video games all day, not worry about going to work, not worry about paying the bill, but you can scrape up $56 for a new fucking game, people's priorities have changed. Um, I played 15 seasons of Madden. 07, 08, or whatever. I played one of it. It was 07, I think. It was, it was, it was 08. Um, 15 seasons. I played. I went to the Super Bowl every year I played. Played the first season on easy mode. Don't get me wrong. Played the second season on easy mode. I played the third season on all pro. And by the time I got to the fifth season, I was just playing all Madden the whole time. You know, but that's just me. Um, like I said, I went to every Super Bowl. I won every Super Bowl. Uh, I think I went six seasons undefeated. Not straight, though. But I had six undefeated seasons. Um, video game. I always wanted to be a professional football player. I played middle linebacker. I played safety. I played cornerback and free safety. And I was a third string quarterback. So, 
what happened to me? Was it smoking cigarettes and drinking? Was it marijuana and parties? No, I didn't go to college. I didn't better my education. I didn't fix my brain. Was I playing video games during that time? Does Atari count? In television count? ColecoVision count? No. I was distracted by the streets and, and trying to take care of myself. I mean, like, I moved out the house when I was 13 fucking years old. Was I moved out or was I exiled? Mm. I understand what I mean by exile. When you're a little kid and you start off in this one place and you get in trouble with the law, and then you can't go back to that place. That's exile. That's exile. I can tell you a million stories that you wouldn't believe and smile every time. That's my life. And that that's going to be a story I'm going to have to try to tell you later. When you remember things in the past and you, you think about your past. It's sad. All my hopes and dreams that I had. I plan on retiring at 40. Not going to happen. Why do we always hear stories about some lucky person? The lucky one. The girl discovered waiting on tables becomes one of the greatest actresses of all time. The guy who just doodles out in his yard. Somebody walks up and says, Hey, can I get that doodle right there? Next thing you know, this guy's painting on commission fifteen, twenty thousand dollars of paint. We have been taught to hold out, believe something's gonna come in and save you. I'm here to tell you, folks. I'm disappointed in everything. Life, death, the monetary system, United States government, Israel. I don't know why. But it's bad. It's bad when you go through your entire life and everything negative someone has told you has come to fruition. You see, you have seen everything negative come true that's ever been said to you. And people say, why do you, why you carry, why you act, why you be, how, why? Why are you the way you are? Why don't you have what you want out of life? Why don't you have the get up and go to go get it? I have been taught to settle early in life. I have been taught to be happy and satisfied with the least. And thus, there's no rush, no will, and no need to get out, struggle, and be hungry to get more. So, today I'm a major disappointment. Tomorrow I'll be a hero. Day after tomorrow I'll be a zero again. What does life have to hold for anybody? The prospect of death. You've been too. Ah. Uh.